This right here is one of the recent updates that Microsoft released in May 2022 to enable you to embed live Power BI reports within PowerPoint. That means that you can tell your data story more effectively using fully interactive reports and get an experience as though you are within Power BI service. That means that you can drive data rich conversations in your meetings with data that is always live and up to date within your slides. It also means that you can answer ad hoc queries and questions in a more prompt and real time manner, not having to leave PowerPoint so that you can go and look for that data. It is all within your PowerPoint. My name is William and in this video, my goal is to show you how you can embed a live Power BI report in PowerPoint so that you can tell your data story more effectively. So I'm here in Power BI and as you can see, I have a report that has two tabs. I have summary and I have the regional performance here. And this is the report that you'd want to view in PowerPoint. Now, previously, you could export this one as a PDF or in PowerPoint as a static image. So with this recent update, all we need here is to copy the URL of this uh, report. I control C. So here in PowerPoint, we go to the insert tab and look for the Power BI icon here. And when you click, you get this placeholder for you to type in or paste the URL that you copied. As you can see here, I'll just go ahead and press Control V. Then I will click Insert. Power BI will uh, process this report. And as you can see, we have that Power BI report now here in PowerPoint. And if I go to this and I make a selection for the month, I can click match and then you can see all the numbers update on this report page. Now check this out. If I go to the slideshow mode, the interaction is still there. Now this is going to change how you tell your data story in your meetings. This is, I'm, I'm really excited about this. One thing to note though about this feature is that currently as of going live of this video is that you cannot have multiple pages shown by this embedding that we have done on this page or in this slide. Uh, but what you have capacity to do is that you can build your report so that it has the page navigators so that you can interact with the pages from one page to another when you're still within PowerPoint. In this case, I have two buttons here that I can use to switch from summary to region. Now, if I click region, it will bring up the page that has the regional breakdown as you can see here and you can interact with any one of these visuals that you see here as though you're in Power BI service. For instance, this chart down here shows the year on year growth rates for different regions. Now, if you want to navigate through the regions, I can click say for instance, why is coast region showing a decline? Then I can investigate that. Uh, through the channels and as you can see it shows me the breakdown per channel and then per product category as such. Now before I move on let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you're finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate and it will go a long way in reaching more people with the same information. Now if I press escape here so that I come out of the slideshow mode, you'll notice here I have some icons on this uh, slide. So on the left side here you see the date when this report was last refreshed. And if you click on this one it will take you to the report in the Power BI service. Then on the right side here you have two more icons. And as you can see, this first one is when you want to show or hide the filters pane. Then if I click, it will show the filters pane or hide it. That one hid it. Let me click and then you'll see the filters pane in case you had any filters applied to this report. In this one, I don't have. And if I click on that, I can also hide the filter. Coming back down here under data options, you can refresh this report so that you can get the latest data coming from Power BI service, or you can reset it so that it resets to the original view when you initially embedded this report. 
on the right side here you have one more button here that allows you to clear the data so that it, if I clear this one it will remove this report from this PowerPoint and I can click learn so that it takes me to the powerbi.com website for me to learn more about Power BI. Now if you want to hide the toolbar down here you have this arrow down here if I click it will hide that info that you are seeing there. Now on the top right here you have this arrow for you to show or hide some of these concepts and basically you can delete the report from here you can also reload it from here and also you can show as a saved image so that this report will be converted to a static image as though you took a screenshot from your report in Power BI service. Now this feature is available with uh, Microsoft 365 subscribers and if you don't find this Power BI icon in the insert menu you can come here to add-ins and then click get add-ins so it will load this uh, store page and you can search here for Power BI. If you search you will find two icons. The first one the Power BI tiles is the old version of this Power BI but the one that is official and the one that is coming from Microsoft is this second one and as you can see it's Microsoft Corporation. Uh, I've already installed but in case you haven't you will click add so that it becomes part of what you have in the add-ins in the insert menu. Now there are several ways that you can get the URL that you use within the Power BI add-in within PowerPoint, the one that you need to copy and paste. In this example we went to the URL here and we copied that uh, URL from the web address here but also you can come to the export button here and then you will find PowerPoint and one of the options you'll see is embed live data. Initially it was just embed an image but now you have this option that says embed live data and if you click that one you'll notice it's still under preview and it's being developed as we go along but you copy this link as well from here or you can click open in PowerPoint. If you open in PowerPoint what that will do is that it will create a new PowerPoint for you with the embedded report in there. So the third way you can get that URL is to click this share button again. If I click share you will get this uh, view and then what you need is to click PowerPoint down here. If I click you notice I get the same a prompt as I had previously. Now one thing that you need to note is that any change that you make when you're in PowerPoint is not saved back to Power BI service. The only changes that are saved is when you change your Power BI desktop and then refresh your Power BI in the service. That will flow back to PowerPoint with the new and the most current data set. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you send this PowerPoint slide to somebody else then they will need an active Power BI account uh, for them to view this report. In case they don't have access to the report they will need to send a request to you so that you can first share the report within the Power BI service. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can create a similar report in Power BI fully interactive like the one you see here. Uh, so please subscribe so that you don't miss out on that video. Please take care. I'll see you then.